okay and then the maximum height well how the heck do we calculate the maximum height okay well let's see let me bring this down real quick okay well this is just gonna be when y final is equal to zero so we're just gonna set we're just gonna set y uh, v final is equal to zero meters per second so we're just going to calculate our time of how how long it takes for it to to reach zero so let me bring our um where where is this we bring our initial speed down this is our initial speed so vfy and our acceleration, our acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So we can just calculate using our this equation right over here. So we're just going to plug and chug. Um, and if you plug and chug, you get this. Let's see. So. So you switch T and A, so you get a, uh, and V final is just zero, so it's going to be negative 39.83 divided by negative 9.8. So because, okay, let me, let me actually write that down. So it's going to be, uh, since V final is zero, so it's going to be zero minus 39.83, and then I switch T and A. So you multiply t on each side and divide a by each side, and then you get negative 9.8 here. And then you just divide like that. So it's just 0 cancels out. So you just divide that, and you get 4.06. So, so this is equal to t. So t, so t is equal to 4.06. Now, you might be asking, well, why why do we just calculate for t when we need when we when we need the height? Well, let's look at our y equation. Do, do this this equation v naught t v naught y t plus one half a t squared requires us to use our use our use a t. Okay, so let's let's plug our val values in. Let's plug our values in. V naught y is 39.83 times t, which is 4.06, plus 1 half a, which is just minus 4.9, t squared, so 4.06 squared. So let's simplify that. So 39.83 a times 4.06 minus 4.9 times 4.06 squared. So simply you get 81. So, so y is simply 81 meters. That is the maximum height. So that would be the maximum height. Okay.